is premiering this week at Fright Fest. Yeah. Premiered, was it last night? Uh, yesterday, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's gone down the store by here so far. Yeah, it's, we've had a really good response. Um, we were, I, I came along along with uh, Roxanne Pallet, uh, the Gillian in the movie, and um, we were kind of overwhelmed by the um, by the experience and how how well it was received. Uh, I popped back into um, into the actual screening just kind of to watch the end of it, and people were clapping at the end of it. And so yeah, we were really happy, and it was a great day. So yeah, really, really happy. Fantastic. And so the story goes that your character basically has got a inheritance, a family inheritance. Goes to some backwoods in the US to a hotel to chase up this inheritance, and then you're introduced to some uh, rather odd, long lost family. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Um, so the, the character Danny, he's um, he used to work on Wall Street, earning really big money, um, and he lost a lot of money um, his girlfriend's money, his, uh, his best friend's money, and um, he we are introduced to him when he's the lowest of his lows. He's kind of been sacked from the job and um, he uh, had a suicide attempt um, and he's just so repressed. It's, you know, and this kind of, uh, and he's an, he's an orphan as well, so he doesn't have any family that he knows of. And um, so we were introduced to him and his girlfriend and his best friend driving to the um, to the hotel with this mysterious inheritance and finally some uh, a tangible family that he never thought he ever had. Um, so yeah, yeah, it's um, yeah, it was a really interest when I was, when I read the script. It was a really interesting character arc I thought for, for Danny, um, and it gave me a, gave me something to really kind of grab onto. I was so excited by, by the script. So yeah. Absolutely. With it being a, um, a very strong franchise yeah. in Hollywood, so you're going on to the sixth, sixth instalment of this, yeah. you know, that's pretty fantastic, isn't it? You yeah. know, that the fans keep wanting more. Yeah, absolutely. Um, I think the thing that um, I think the, thing that the fans love most about this is just obviously the, the goriness. There's a lot of blood, there's a lot of very uh, different style deaths, and especially in Wrong Turn 6, there's uh, some really kind of uh, twisted. Uh, deaths that you wouldn't necessarily be able to think of yourself, but someone somewhere did. Um, and uh, I think the thing that kind of attracts people to it is the the three recurring characters, the, the brothers. Um, um, but in, in our movie, in the sixth installment, we had a new director, um, kind of a new team, and we wanted to really kind of reboot the, the franchise again. Um, with Wrong Term 1 being great, um, and then we've had five since then. It's amazing. Yeah. Um, but this one, kind of, they wanted to really have a good plot that had a, like a had a bit more background in, into these brothers as well, into these three recurring characters, recurring characters, because they kind of just pop up in the films, kind of just here and there. But in this one, you get an insight into who they are. Um, not necessarily a lot of who they are, um, but more of an insight, and there's more of a you know, if you if you if you're wanting to watch a movie for the blood and gore, there's definitely that. Um, but then, if you want a bit of a pop with it, there's also that as well. So, um, yeah, I was uh, I was thrilled when I saw the script as well. So, yeah, it was great. Absolutely. I mean, this is 11 years on, isn't it? Since the first film, now with the nice edition. Mm. So um, it's uh, yeah. it's insane how long it's been running. Um, and six films over 11 years is an achievement in one. Um, I mean, the fans just just keep wanting more, and keep wanting more. And I mean, my uh, my Twitter goes crazy whenever anything's posted about Wrong Turn. And there's a really dedicated group of Wrong Turn fans, um, which is great. And, it's, and I hope, I know they will enjoy it. Um, but cross my fingers, they do. You know. I'm sure they will, absolutely. I mean, you know, even in regards to Wrong Turn 1, mm-hmm. like, you know, most people I speak to have watched Wrong Turn 1. So, uh, you know... It does have a big following, it really it does. does. a massive yeah. following. Yeah, and it's great that that's kind of continued throughout all of the films. Uh, there's always been a hype whenever they're going to be released. Um, so, yeah, it's... Uh, it's exciting and I'm, I'm looking forward to it uh, coming out on DVD. It was great being here today to watch it on the big screen. It's surreal but great. Um, so yeah, I just the, the team we had were fantastic and um, we had a great time shooting it. So I think that's, I think it shows really, especially from watching it. Um, but there's a lot of camaraderie, there's a lot, there's a lot of laughs in it as well, um, which is nice. Um, 
well, yeah, we had great actors, really, really great actors. So I was privileged to be part of it. Absolutely. Fantastic. And this is your first feature film, isn't it? Correct. Yeah. 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 So um, apart from the fact it's your first feature film and it's a fantastic script, yeah. what was it that drew you into the horror genre? Have you always liked Yes, I have liked horror. I, I mean, I've always been the kind of guy who hides behind a pillow while watching horror. Um, I'm more of a big fan of thriller, kind of thriller horror, that kind of thing. Um, but the chance to do a horror is an incredible opportunity and um, especially from we, we filmed in Bulgaria and especially from landing in Bulgaria and then um, doing the read through meeting the director meeting the other um, actors um, we were just kind of immersed in this world of gore and, um, and sexiness and, and yeah, it has so many elements to it um, but it really gives you a chance as an actor to especially for me playing Danny who was at the lowest of all lows just you know, kind of delve into the darker side of yourself and also of the character. Um, and he goes on a huge journey. He goes on a very big journey. I don't want to say too much, I don't want to give it away, but he goes on a very big journey. And um, um, so it was for me, it was great. And, um, I had a great um, leading actress that I was working with, Sarah Cuida Zoll, who is doing extremely well for herself. Um, there's also Sadie Katz, who is a, a, an actress in LA as well. Um, uh, they were the two, only two American girls in the film, and the rest of us were British. Um, but yeah, um, Aquila and I had um, just a, a really nice relationship, off and on camera, but off camera we would, we would work really, really hard. And she's a, great, she's a fantastic actress, and she gave me a lot. And it's, it's, so, it's so good to be able to, when you're acting opposite someone, if they're giving you something, then you're obviously going to be able to give more back. And she just would just give you so much and it was a fantastic experience for me as well being my first feature I learned so much from Aquila from everybody else on the crew I mean we had an incredible crew they were ridiculously fast at you know when we cut there's normally like a an hour break where they can set up a different location we were there within 15 minutes they had an 80 foot dolly that they'd set up in about 10 minutes and it was insane we were kind of and it was a different location it was only about a two minute walk but by the time we were down there it was done and they were like okay so places I was like this is insane um yes yeah, so it was a great great it was a great uh, company to work with. fantastic yeah absolutely um, but yeah for going back to the question third off a bit um the yeah genre, uh, the genre of horror for me it, um it just as i said it allows you to um go from one end of the extreme to the other um and i think it's exciting to watch it back exciting to see all the blood, see all the gore, see the sexiness and um, yeah, especially in this in the long to see uh, more of a uh, more of a character arc for a lot of the characters. So, yeah, mm. I think that's that's a really good strong first role to have in the feature oh, film, isn't it? Absolutely. I was so um, overwhelmed by by even, you know, auditioning for the part and I knew how big the franchise was. Um, and um, just since then I mean I know I learned so much and um, but I was actually chatting to Billy Ashworth who played um, played Rod in the film and um, yeah, we were saying this last night and he said do you remember when we were having a chat we were in a hall somewhere in this big building and he said um, do you feel nervous at all about you know this because it was his, his first um, feature film as well and I was like I, f I just couldn't believe I didn't allow myself to think about the pressure of how big this franchise is until about halfway through film one and I went oh wow okay so you know and I really had to step up my game not halfway through filming but I really had to kind of get my head in the game and really um, just go for it and I think I did I think I just went for it as, as best as I could so um, I'm, I'm really happy with the way it turned out absolutely and if somebody could offer you a fantastic next role in another Hollywood film what would that be for you? <sighs> That's a really good question. Um, it would be something along the lines of, I mean, I'm a massive fan of Leonardo DiCaprio, and um, I love his portrayal in um, Shutter Island. Something like that would be amazing. It would be great to do something like that. <laughs> no, uh, yeah, uh, that would be incredible. Um, but yeah, I, I think I love the horror side. I'd love to do another horror. Um, I love I love thriller as well. So, but also saying that I mean I'd love to do drama. I'd love to do comedy. Comedy for me is where I kind of first started out. Yeah. The one thing I wanted to do when I, I was growing up as an actor. Um, so a, a comedy part would be amazing as well. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Well, fantastic. Mm -hmm. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank, Thank you very you. much. Thanks for having me. That's Cheers. Important. Thank you. <laughs>